Welcome to the Data Protection Advisor Reporting Demonstration. This demonstration will cover the steps necessary to run reports from the GPA GUI. Let's start by running some reports. So we go to Reports and select Run Reports here. Good. So running a report is pretty easy process uh, consisting of three steps basically. First we uh, need to select a scope, uh, meaning selecting one or more objects or groups. Uh, then we we are going to select, in step two, we are going to select the report we want to run. And finally, in step three, we need to select a time period for our report. So for, for this example, let's uh, uh, select a, uh, a backup server. So we go here to configuration, servers, then we have servers, then we have backup servers, and let's let's select the EMC uh, networker group here. So in this group we have a uh, actually just a single server, but anyways, let, let's try it. So we click uh, next. Now, uh, for our first report, uh, let's start with a, uh, a very common report that's called report card. So, uh, one way is you, you can go, you, as you can see here, we have some reports categories. Uh, reports are all grouped here. So, for example, if we ex expand configuration, we have two more categories, backup and overview, and then, for example, we can expand overview and see that we have two reports here, backup service summary, back, backup server summary for a group, and etc. But another way to find the report we're looking for is to type in the name of the report here, the find box. So in this case, we want to run a report called report card. and uh, as you can see here, I, I just typed in report and it's already showing me the report card. It's part of the, let's see, it's part of the, the data protection category and then we have the overview uh, subcategory and then we have report card. So we can select that and click next. And as for the time period, let's select um, last week. So we select last week and let's run. So click finish here. So let's check the results. As you can see here we have a the the name of uh, different nodes that means probably uh, backup clients for for this particular uh, group or in this case it's just a single uh, networker server and here we have uh, a bars representing uh, the results for for the different uh, days of the week so as you can see um, almost everything is just green that means that all safe sets that they were successful what is great, but here we see that there is a bar that's part of it's, it's green and part of the bar is red. That means that some of the uh, save sets uh, were successful, but some of them failed. So one thing that we can do here is we can drill down this particular cell and see more details. So we just need to double click and it's going to open for us a report called Backup Job Summary. And here we have a, a little more information about that particular day of the week for that particular uh, backup client. So number of safe sets or backup jobs, we have it's three, two of them were successful, uh, but one of one failed. 
So we we can keep drilling down if you want. For example, we can let's supposing that I want to see why this uh, particular job here failed. I can double click the failed field and it's going to open a different report this time called backup failed jobs and here we have all the information that we need for example the job name job status error code uh, the size when it started when it finished and we have the the throughput here it's zero probably it's never started actually uh, duration just 28 seconds etc we can still get uh, some more information if you want for for example if you right click this failed job we have a number of options here for example add resolution um, backup job devices errors we can see the error message here for example so we select this option we have backup job error details oh no no results found for some reason okay um what else oh this is uh, useful for example uh supposing that i want to see the last successful backup for this job i can select that and it's going to show me no results found probably it um this this job never never worked actually so let's go back and try something else for example supposing i want to see the last five runs for this particular job and it seems that uh, actually this is the the only run it had Anyways, uh, lots of useful information here. Okay, let's close all those reports and try something different. Let's close everything here, good. Okay, so let's try something different now. Let's try a service level agreement uh, report. But uh, before you can run that report, first you need to actually create a, a protection policy so we go here to policies and select protection policies so let's create a new policy we click create policy and we're going to name our policy um, backup SLA so let's uh, as you can see here we have two two tabs uh, we have uh, recovery rules and protection rules so recovery rules we have things like uh, the RPO RTO um, so we, we need to set some of those first so let's set our RPO um, to two days um, and let's set our our RTO to one week one week and time to restore we can set to 100% of backup time okay so now let's take care of the protection rules we don't have any rules here so we need to create a new rule uh, let's name our rule any level Oh, oops, any level, any retention. We're not particularly uh, interested on any particular level or uh, or retention, so we can select that. And the uh, rule type is backup. So, as the name says here, uh, level we're gonna set to any retention period we can set to zero days now let's select a schedule so we can use this schedule here the default uh, SLA schedule basically the 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 schedule defines the backup backup window so we select and we click OK to create the 
policy. Oh, the rule, sorry. Good. So now we have our policy here and click OK again to create the, the policy. OK, now that we have created the policy, we need to apply this policy to a uh, object or a group. So let's do that. We go to the Applied Protection Policies tab and let's select the server group. So we go here to uh, Group, Configuration, and we have Servers. And you can click here to apply our new policy to this group. So here is our newly created policy, Backup SLA. We can select this policy and click Select Policy. Yes. Very well, now we can uh, try our service level agreement report. So let's go back to reports, run reports, and let's try a service level agreement uh, report. F uh, f for the scope, um, let's, you can use um, backup servers, Let's use uh, EMC Networker uh, group again. Actually, this group only has a single server, so let's try the EMC Avamar group because that group has two objects, two hosts, two backup hosts. Um, so let's select the EMC Avamar and then Let's look for a service level agreement report. There is a report that's called SLA Summary. So let's select that and click Next. And for the time period, let's use last week. Good. And I click Finish. And let's see what happens. So here we have uh, some information. So let's check. Um, I need to make some room here uh, for the headers. Good. So um, here we have for for the Avamar group, uh, and remember we have two Avamar servers here, we had almost 9,000 jobs uh, last week, and the number of successful jobs um, was almost 100%, was 99%, almost 100%. And within the service level agreement, that means within the backup window also we had almost 100%. So it was pretty good. Let's go back and try the same report but using the uh, EMC Networker group just, just to see what happens. So we go back to scope here and change to EMC Networker um, and we use the same report and last week and click finish and let's see if it's different yeah almost the same thing we had only um, almost 600 jobs and just one of them uh, failed so the rest was successful and all of them were within the the backup window so yeah